what's up guys it's angel of that chick angel tv and in this video i'm going to show you how i achieve my wash and go now of course i filmed this video before i found out that my hair decided to take a sabbatical and leave me with a bald spot yes i have alopecia and i didn't know it when i taped this so i decided you know what forget it i'm just gonna put it up anyway so first I divide my hair into two sections and put it off to the side and then I divide one side into two sections again and I'm working on my front side now. I'm using a conditioner. Sometimes I use a conditioner or a shampoo. I just need something that will add slip to my hair so that I can finger detangle it. I had a uh, twist out so I can't just wash a twist out out because my hair will mat together. So I just add this conditioner to my hair so that I can finger detangle. But then I still have to go through my hair with a brush. The brush that I use doesn't have many teeth to it so it doesn't rip out my hair. And I get my hair detangled from root to tip. This is the only way that I can ensure that I don't lose a bunch of hair in the shower trying to detangle. So I go through the front section first detangling and once I know the whole section is detangled and I use as much product as I need to to keep it from snapping off my hair I twist it up and I secure it so that I can work on the rest of my head the back and middle part of my head is way more coarse and thick than the front part of my hair so I have to do it in more sections and typically I use a little more product sometimes I add a little bit of water because it is a jungle back there I'm telling you it is not a game but the more product I use the less stress I seem to have to put on my hair to get it detangled now that it's all detangled I'm going to hop in the shower to wash my hair now typically I wash my hair in the shower because I wash my hair when I wash my body otherwise I would wash it in the kitchen sink but the first step that I'm doing is rinsing out the product that I put in my hair to detangle it and now I'm using a Shea Moisture shampoo I do believe it's their moisturizing and reconstruction line I'm actually not a huge fan of it because I like a lather and it gives no lather I'm using my shampoo brush just to make sure my hair stays detangled as I wash it and I'm having to use a lot of product because I'm just like, where is the lather? It's not there. So this is obviously not the shampoo I usually use, but I like to use up all of my products. Even if I'm not a fan of it, as long as it's not pulling out my hair, I like to use all of it. So once I shampoo one side, I move on to the next. You can see I get extremely wet to help the product get through my hair. I um, pull the shampoo all the way down from the root to the shaft and I massage my scalp a little bit with my nails to help lift up any dandruff that might be there whether it be just from regular dirt or from my seborrhea dermatitis and I just keep finger detangling to make sure my hair does not tangle back up on itself as it tends to do once I finish the front I secure it with a little clip and I move on to the back of my head now the reason I like shampoos that have a lather is that my hair doesn't tangle as much when I wash it. Shampoos that don't have a lather, and I know sulfate free shampoos are better for you, and the one that I use that has a lather is sulfate free. Um, they just keep my hair from tangling so I don't get as many knots and I get less breakage. So again I'm doing the same thing, you can see that bald spot trying to form, look at it, didn't even know it was there. It's a stranger on my head like Deborah Cox is a stranger in her house. Anyways, I rinse out the shampoo and then I move to my co-wash. The reason why I'm co-washing along with the shampoo is because that shampoo does not leave my hair feeling moisturized. And I will not get out the shower until I feel like my hair feels moisturized. So I am putting in my favorite co-wash, which I can't remember the name, but I'll put it in the <laughs> description below. Um, and I'm using that in the back and I'm really trying to work it in as much to make sure that I got all the dirt out because this is my last chance because after this I'll start putting product in and I won't be working to get dirt out of it. 
And again, I'm having to finger, and I finger to tangle, but use my shampoo brush to help detangle because my hair is not feeling as moisturized from that other shampoo that I used. Now, once I've rinsed out the co-wash, I move on to my Cantu Leave-In Conditioner. This is my favorite, and I don't use it sparingly. I pump that sucker in my hair. And it's making my hair feel so much better, so much more moisturized. I usually like to feel my hair moisturized before I even get to that step. But since it wasn't, I was using that Cantu like crazy. And now I'm using the Shea Moisture product that I really like. This is their, um, it's like a curly cream. Um, I'll leave a link to that one below as well. So I use a lot of that. And then now I'm moving on to co-washing the front of my head. Getting that to feel, like I said, more moisturized because it was feeling good and dry after that shampoo, which I am not a fan of that happening. Using that um, shampoo brush to make sure all dandruff is up. And I'm going to rinse it out. Again, I add my products to the front of my hair, starting off with my Cantu Leave-In Conditioner and then using my Shea Moisture Curly Cream. I put in a lot of products. I possibly don't use that much every single time, but like I said, my hair was feeling so dry after this shampoo. And if I ever feel I've gone too heavy handed with the product, I just allow a little water to rinse on it. Now I just wring it dry with my hand. And that's it. I let my hair air dry so it looks like an extra juicy jerry curl for a little bit, but my curls be popping. So let me know if you want me to make any other natural hair tutorials. Bye guys. Good morning, everyone. We were still in um, San Diego. My husband, who was right off camera this morning.